Daniel Robertson Family Foundation was uh, started a year on the year anniversary of my husband's death. My dad, he, uh, well, my dad and my mom, my dad, he's the reason uh, why I'm at where I'm at today. Don in 2010 was diagnosed with stage four non-smoking lung cancer. He lived three years after that and was very healthy and very well until the time he passed away in September of 2013. We kind of came up with the idea to uh, just raise money for, for families in need to just try to help them out and, and um, do what we can to pay, pay the expenses while they're, they're dealing with a tough time as well. That C word can be so devastating and so overwhelming. We are here to help those families. So we would love to get the word out. If you know families or you know people that are, have gotten this diagnosis and they are struggling with their treatment, getting some of the necessities paid for, we want more people to know about the Daniel Robertson Family Foundation and that we're here to help. It's important to us that families continue to be able to function and move forward and focus on getting somebody healed and better and not have to worry about the everyday things of life. My dad, God, he was so giving, man. He, was, he, he loved to help people out. And uh, that's what's so cool about uh, doing this foundation uh, in honor of him. To, to give back and help other people out because that's that's the way he was. You can kind of go two ways with something like this. You can kind of make it bury you, bury your family, and um, you know just be miserable for the rest of your lives. Or you can you can counteract that and, and do something positive, which we're doing. Um, and I know my dad's smiling down, uh, very happy with 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 what we're doing because that's the way he would want it. He he was a he was a great man. That's my dad. As the foundation started to, to grow and we were trying to put together, you know, we put together our mission statement, got, got the 501c3 done, um, and it was time to decide how were we going to raise the funds to support these families. Daniel had been invited to participate in the Rays Fan Fest the first year in 2015 when he was, he was traded to the Rays, and he was nice enough to invite me along, and I was so impacted by how much fun all the fans were having. We don't have any fan fests in this area, so we came up with the idea of why don't we do a fan fest? We definitely liked what, what uh, the Rays did, and we kind of just wanted to imitate it a little bit and do it our way of the mini fan fest. And I gather guys uh, in the area that can make it out. Daniel has a lot of players that are friends that are from this area that are happy to get involved, and without them, we couldn't do it. And we set up carnival games, there's food, there's music, people can have autographs signed. It's a lot of fun. It's more of a time for families and kids to come and interact with the players. And we sell tickets and we sell, have silent auction items. It's just a great time to see smiles on kids' faces, families' faces, and it's uh, ultimately it's just for a good cause to, to raise money for families in need. It's just, it's really to see it all come to uh, fruition and see everything play out as, you know, we started this three years ago and just to see it grow and build is what's really cool. But to see the people come out and just support a great cause, people you haven't seen in a while, and not to mention uh, just running around and playing with the kids, seeing their faces light up and just, you know, just doing that whole gig is, is really cool. And then I just think uh, seeing people come together in a community is, is a, uh, is top notch, it's up there for sure.